One of the most common questions we get asked is, what programs do you use? I always thought that this was kind of a weird question, so I guess I'll answer it. Uh, I use Microsoft Word for word processing, and I use both Firefox and Chrome for the internet. I'm a little bit wary about making a video telling you guys what programs I use, and here's why. What I don't want is one of you out there to be like, oh man, Freddy uses Final Cut Pro, I don't have Final Cut Pro, I better wait until I get Final Cut Pro before I can make movies, or oh, Freddy uses After Effects, I better save up and get After Effects. Wrong. Because right now on your computer, you have either iMovie or Windows Movie Maker, depending on if you have a Mac or PC. And both of those programs are fully featured programs that you can cut a movie with. I don't want anybody out there thinking, oh, if I only I had this program, I could go make a movie finance. That's the totally wrong attitude to have. You think Tiger Woods was like, oh man, I wish I had a $2,000 driver, then I could start, you know, hitting, hitting tee shots well. It's like, no, he started learning with whatever he had, and that's what you guys should be doing as well. And I don't want to encourage the idea that certain programs make things look good or whatever, you know? If you're a student, you can get Final Cut Express, which basically does everything that Final Cut Pro does for like 99 bucks. And if you can't afford that, you can still use iMovie. You might not be able to do all the crazy effects that we do, but you should first work on just cutting together a good sequence and then worry about the effects stuff later. If you want to try out After Effects, Adobe.com has a fully featured 30 day download that you can just get and install. And after your 30 days are up, just reinstall your OS and download it again. It'll be great. You'll have the fastest computer of anybody you know, because there'll be no viruses and no spyware. In all seriousness, that's what I did for like a year. What I'm trying to say is this, just because I use After Effects and Final Cut Pro doesn't mean you have to use After Effects and Final Cut Pro. Don't ever let lack of equipment or programs or anything like that stop you from just going out and making movies. In fact, I guarantee you that you have a relative or a friend or a friend of a friend who has a camera. And I guarantee you that that camera was better than what I got to use when I started out. In fact, look at this thing. This is what I was shooting most of my movies on when I was your age. I guarantee you, you have a camera that's better than this, and I still shot stuff, so if you can get it, why not use it? Might not be the best looking camera in the world, but I guarantee you it's better than this thing. I don't even think I can get tapes for this thing anymore. If you spend all your time worrying about what program you should use, or what camera you should get to make your stuff look better so you can finally start making movies, you're going about this the wrong way. Trust me. If you keep at it as a hobby, you'll stumble on to the better programs and the better cameras. The best thing you can do to get better is just keep practicing with whatever you can get your hands on.